Right, so my gimmick was way over there. Um, I want my revenge on Rudy, so he wanted to hold you battle too, or rather he asked if I wanted to have another, se or have a serious game. I, I felt sure I want my revenge, and I do realize at the same time when I say that, that I am super susceptible to um, getting my ass destroyed anyway, because it's still Rudy. Now, I have two ways. I have two legitimate OU teams that have been really fun, having a great time using. Um, Reggie Eleki has been quite nice. But this team is quite workable. Ah, let's go with this route. It's um, it's the less efficient of the two, but I also kind of enjoy that team a bit more. So, plus so the Reggie Eleki is like everywhere, so I think it's a bit more fun if um, <laughs> I actually try to do something that is a bit more inventive. By the way, like Reggie Eleki has been like the last week now uh, is. Pretty much what is on people's mind. Um, it's actually not the most used one in Smogan OU, but um, it's the one I see the most on uh, in battles. Whoo, yeah. I was gonna say, Slow King is the most used. Yeah, there we go. I was wondering what I was gonna see you. So, Agron is nice. Hmm. And we see a real proper fairy. Um, <clears throat> I think. I think I have a few options, but. I'll be honest, there are two mods here that stands out that are going to absolutely shut me down. And that is Agron because it's high viability and... Uh, I'll be honest, Swampert is annoying. It's tough, it's a mean bean machine of doom. Um, do you still have a defogger? Maybe in Tapu Koko. And that's a big maybe. He's not going to lead off with... Swampeth though, right? He sees that I have a monster that is Whimsicott. He's gonna lead off. If I were him, I'll lead off with Agron. And not try to sack it. Because if you bring Swampeth, I... I'm gonna get a little bit disappointed. <laughs> but I need to get rid of Tapu Koko somehow. Same man. He's wishing me good luck, have fun. I'm gonna wish him the same. Ooh, I'm actually kind of worried. I'm. <laughs> this is a good team. Optimus Krim. Okay, the big boy question. Would he sack this? If I were him, I'd get my ass out of, out of there. Probably bring in Swampert. I want to do the big boy play. Because he's gonna hate this. Fuck it, I'll start Rock. He's not gonna stay in. <laughs> You're not doing it. <laughs> he's staying in, isn't he? Oh my god. We're gonna exchange rocks, right? This motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck, alright. <laughs> oh, I walked right into it too. Uh, <laughs> Fuck it, man. Though the thing is, like, he's only like real switchings or maybe Saptos. It doesn't really want to apply that pressure on Swampert. If it's switching in Swampert to soak a hit, our part's still gonna do a good chunk. So sack play probably the only way here. Maybe Damwitz was thinking he has no real switching. But that's a big maybe. Let's see, Eon. Ah. Ah. So we can actually send these scouts. The thing, I'll be honest here, there are two ways of seeing this go. Either this Latios is um, a big boy <laughs> Latios and actually with D5, which could be nice, or he just attacks here because he knows he's pressured and don't want to give me. Yeah, there we go, nice. And we should take this actually with ease. And. Um, 
If I were him, I I'd probably bring in Agron. <clears throat> It's kind of a sack play, making Swampert a lot stronger for me to deal with. I'm just glad it wasn't Defog. Keeping rocks could be really good for me to chip him down a little bit. So just a side to stay in, which is, it's okay. So it kills me, which is, like I said, alright. Because... Um, I mean, I bring in Nidokin again, and things get really nasty fast. Or I could bring in Victini. There is nothing I want to take Victini's damage output. Because I think if I go for choice bad at U turn, that I'll just. I'll invite the obvious play here, which is Swamp It, and get a uh, big boy damage from that guy. I'm using a lot of big boy. I'm I'm, I'm realizing that you know pe people can be big girls too, but that's not manly. Not not the Victini is super manly. I don't know. They're Pokemon. I mean, hell, we're both sexless. I have no idea. Like, was this a rant? I am. If there was one, I don't. I'm not having it. Come on, Rudy. You know it's exactly if you stay in. This guy gonna absolutely eat you alive, you know it. So let's do that. <laughs> Ladigon. Why did he do that though? I mean, I, I don't mean to be that guy, I'm just like... Wow, what's the point? Alright, bring in x -tail again. Uh, <laughs> Because let's say that Swampert comes in, it only allows me to to get the damage I want on that guy, to be able to choice lock myself into choice point of e creates, which is somehow the goal of this game. Um, gummy. Yeah. Because due to the prior damage. There is nothing that's gonna happening that's gonna be great for Nidic King. So big boy damage. Stop saying that. Um Yeah, 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 that's good damage. There's stealth rocks. Oh. Oh. So um Did he have any floaters left? He's not gonna sack this. I'll ice beam here in case he uh, does a play. <laughs> Why does he stay in? There are so many like decisions I made that just eats me alive. <laughs> so he flip turns and like, oh, we gain momentum back. Oh, then again, Stealth Frogs might actually kill him, so it might not be the worst. That's a big might, by the way. So... Could it bring in Agron? Hmm... I'm not gonna deny it, this is quite tough. Did not expect that. Uh, Urpar would have given him a really good momentum. I think my Tailwind turns are over. So I need to reset that anyway. And he is probably overthinking this. I really... I have no idea what I'm doing. I made so many over, over predictions that right now I'll... Um, I don't know what to do. Tailwind is out, which is awful. Question is, like V crate should destroy him.
This guy probably is choice banded. So I'm I'm pressuring the hell out of this guy. Oh, he stayed in. I was like, Sack Swampert's crying out loud. <laughs> what? No! No, what? How is this possible? Jeez, what? He took that? He really took that damage. He took... Fuck, what? Oh no. Um... Fuck. I'll, I'll guess I'm sad. This is gonna be, no matter what, the most worthless Pokemon of the team anyway. I'm impressed and shaken at the same time. Yeah, earthquake. I should. I knew I should have brought another mom here. But that said, he need to smash to get the KO. I think. So I got ancient power here. Heavy slam. That works too. Uh, no, wait. I'm clearly. Somehow I'm heavier. How about that? Don't think any of us expected that. <laughs> get the boost, get the boost, get the boost. No. But we got a KO, which, by the way, is awesome. Um, so we got Swampert, which I think ties him to switch in. That Aggron got kind of scary, didn't it? So Earthquake or Head Smash would have been the better play. I would have risked the Head Smash. Easily. Easily. Though I thought Heavy Slam was going to do a lot more than they did. I don't know how heavy the Dragon Rigid Drago is, but still, did not expect that. The Ming is here, do. Yeah, I was going to say, there, there we go. Like, that's. That's a mon. Whatever he does, he's going to absolutely eat me. Ah, oh, that Tapu. <sighs> He's not bulk up. He's gonna attack me. He's fucking bulk up. <laughs> Why is that a thing? That's the second time I see this. Take this ancient power! It's gonna do nothing though. No, 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 it's really respectable damage. You can bulk up one more time, please do. Just attack me! Set me free! So I can send in Feeny. Oh, he keeps going. This is a mad lad. Absolute mad lad. Question is, does it have drill pack or anything like that? No, but it had some type of berry. So now it's plus two. Please play Bray Bird. I need you to be Bray Bird to really. Thunderous kick. Ah. <clears throat> That's not Bray Bird. That's not Bray Bird. Okay. Because basically, if I'll be honest here, he is not in heatwave range. There is no way he is. And I can't risk this. I need him to be brave bird and kill himself. Yeah, that's the play. You seen bait before? It looked like this. <laughs> oh, 
is gonna be this is gonna be rough. Brave bird, brave bird, very brave, brave bird. I'm taking a risk here. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, at this point. Oh, this guy. Damn it. It was going to be the same play no matter what. I know that. But I didn't want it. I didn't need it. Because now it's about the 70%. My Achilles heel is here. I don't want to watch this. Oh, I hate this game. Fuck! So much. I knew it too. There we go. That's a GG. Fuck Rudy. You know exactly that I would have won this game had I gotten that tailwind off, but I needed this out of the way. That's a good set. I'll give him that. I'll absolutely give him that. Ah, oh. because the thing is here. Let's play with the idea that I. <sighs> let's play with the idea that uh, I did hit this hurricane. That would have meant that would have a guarantee three more turns of tailwind. I could have just lock myself into V crate, and I would have knocked out swamp would die and switch in. Uh, Sloking was going not be able to survive the V crate and. Tococo was not gonna outspeed me as long as Sail was going even at minus one. But that was a 70% chance, and quite frankly, I took that risk. That was all on me. I could have gone for Equate, but I was not gonna be able to kill. I needed that chip, and I know that. So he got the sweep that I. Let was his face it. He got the odds in his favor, and he had the odds in his favor. So fuck, it, it's, it really hurts. But at the same time, the better play one. So Rudy, GG, did not get my revenge. And uh, fuck, it was a great game. Good job on you. <laughs> I've been watching as always, maybe doing you so. Um, hell, finally have a proper loss. <laughs> it stinks, it stinks. <laughs> that was a good game. Well done, Rudy. So as always, guys, for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.